Hi, and welcome to Butt Plug and Play, the Butt Plugin with Q. Tutorial video series. In this episode, we'll be going over how to use the Butt Plug WebSocket server for Windows. Now, the WebSocket server serves as a gateway between your devices and the programs that want to control them. There's a few things to get used to when using it, but once you understand the basics of the program, it should hopefully be easy to configure and then just get out of the way. First off, you'll need a copy of the Butt Plug application suite which is available at our website at buttplug.io. Just click the download link for the latest version. Now in this video, we'll be using version 0.1.2 of the buttplug application suite. You can check what version you're running by opening any buttplug application and going to the About tab. If your version is different or doesn't look the same as in this video, Check out the video list on this channel or check out our website at buttplug.io to see if there's a newer tutorial available. We'll also try to keep the video descriptions up to date to say what software a certain tutorial works with. To use Bluetooth toys, such as the Levens vibrator or a flashlight launch, you'll need to be running Windows 10 version 1563, the creator's update, or higher. You can check that by running the Winver application. You should be able to see the build number listed. And as long as that is at or above 15063, you should be okay. Now, if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, or an earlier version of Windows 10, then you can still use non-Bluetooth hardware, for instance, game pads that vibrate. Uh, you can check the butt plug website uh, for more info on that. Finally, if you want to follow along with our demos in this video, you'll need a web browser. On Windows, most web modern web browsers like Firefox or Chrome or Edge should work just fine. So now let's cover what's available in the WebSocket server UI. So first off, we'll stop the server as to be able to change any options, the server needs to be stopped. We'll start with the port here. Usually, this port is 12345. That's our default port for all butt plug applications. Now, if you need to change that to something else because it conflicts with your system, you can feel free to do that here. The localhost only checkbox denotes what addresses we're hosting the server on. This option is on by default, and unless you have an advanced setup that requires it, we recommend leaving it on. As you can see here, if I hit start, we're only listening on localhost, where if I turn this off, we're listening on every single interface on the machine. Now, if you have a situation where you have an application on one machine and a server on the other, that's where you would use this. But like I said, that's an advanced setup that we don't really recommend unless you really have a good need for it. Finally, there's the SSL TLS checkbox. This is for using secure communications between the butt plug server and an application that might be accessing it, and will need to be changed on a per application basis. For instance, anything that uses a web browser will require this to be on. However, there are other applications that might run on your local machine that would require it to be off. Check the documentation of the application you're using for more information, and we'll show demos of situations where this needs to be both on and off later in this video. Now let's talk about how to set up ButtPlug to talk to a web browser application. First off, you'll need the ButtPlug WebSocket server application up and running. So start it up and make sure the server is started and that SSL is on. One of the most popular ways to build butt plug applications is on the web because it's so easy and quick for developers to work with. These applications will usually be hosted on secure servers. So you'll see this HTTPS here and you'll usually see a green lock on the side or the word secure. Now, to use these applications with the butt plug server, we may have to go through a couple of extra steps. So let's try connecting to butt plug right now. We open our, ta our tab, we see that our server address 
matches what we expect over here, and we hit connect WebSocket. And nothing happens and we get an error. This is because the way that the security works between the site and the server has to be set up first. So what we have to do is accept a self-signed certificate. Now each certificate is generated on each new install of but plug, the butt plug application suite. So you don't need to worry about certificates being reused. And to fix this, you can just hit the test button right here. And you'll see that we have opened a page to our local server. So this is actually going to the butt plug server. You'll need to go to advanced, add exception, and confirm the security exception. This looks fairly similar in Chrome. So you'll hit advanced and proceed to localhost. Now that we've got both of these set up, both of them, and you'll get quite a few errors like this while you're setting it up, Uh, but now that we've got the certificates accepted in Chrome and Firefox, if I hit connect WebSocket now, the connection opens. Now, once you, the connection is opened here, you'll also be able to see it in the server GUI. There's a status right here that'll say that the server is connected and the application that it's connected to. This down here is the last error that popped up. This may or may not be relevant if your connection seems to be working though, it may be an error that was triggered during setup. Now that the certificate is installed, you should be able to connect to the butt plug server from the application. To do this in Playground, we'll open the control panel and we'll assume for right now that you're running Playground and the server on the same machine. So this is the correct address. And finally, we'll hit connect WebSocket and this time we actually get the server UI. So now that you're connected to the server, you can actually scan for devices and the server should tell you what devices are available. Once you've found all the devices that you want, you can hit stop scanning. When you select these devices, you'll notice that controls come up on the website to actually control these toys and you can click on these controls to change vibration speed or set stroke lengths. And that's all there is to it for web applications. Now let's look at connecting to a local application that does not require SSL. We'll use Script Player, which is a free open source movie player with haptic sync for Windows. If you'd like to get a copy, you can get it off GitHub. Here's the URL and we'll put it in the video description also. So anyways, we've opened script player and we've opened the WebSocket server, but we see that the WebSocket server has SSL on and we need it off for script player. So we hit stop, we turn it off and we hit start again. Note that for script player two, this may change based on what version there uh, they've put out. This is the 1.2 version. It could be in future versions. They do support SSL. So once again, if things aren't working, consult the documentation for script player. Now then, since we do have the butt plug server on, SSL off, and script player up, we go to devices, butt plug, and connect to butt plug. That's our correct URL, because it matches that. We hit OK, and we see that we've connected to script player, both in script player and in the server. And now, if we scan for devices, 
the script player will connect to the devices, though it's not showing anything right now. And if I open a video and a script and play them, then everything runs. So that is it. Now you know the basics of how to use the WebSocket server, which is basically your launch pad into the world of butt plug applications. Our goal is to make it so that you have to pay attention to and change these settings as little as possible, as this is just about the least fun part of using butt plug. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our forums at metafetish.club and let us know how we can help. Also, if this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe. We've got more on the way.